Now we're looking out at the city main. We're gonna work our way back towards the house. Um, there is a small section that was replaced. Um, the tap, you can see there, not too many issues with the tap. But right away we've got issues where the, um, we just have slope problems. You know, that inch and a half, two inches of water here, just standing water all the time. The pipe's not in too bad a shape, but the, that standing water is a problem. That comes back to there, and then, then we slope up. We got this section of replaced piping. It's about, you know, three, four feet long. <clears throat> And then we continue back this way. Obviously, got some roots there. So we continue back. We've got more roots there. Kind of a slight offset. It's tough for the camera to get through. And then, obviously, a bunch of standing water. And the belly there as well. I think the bottom of the pipe is actually missing there. In the bottom right of the screen, you can see that crack. I think there's there's a hole in the bottom of the pipe there. As we work our way back. here at 35 feet and then this is this is all coming from this second clean out next to 1562 Kerman more roots Orangeburg pipe for the most part there was some concrete and whatnot but big belly there about five six feet or so and one back to 17 16 yeah 16 feet or so even 15 so a large belly there and then just right into another one this is where it comes up there's a y y down there and then it comes up to this 1562 clean out which i'll show you see that all those roots there so there's the clean out we went through right here on the corner and there's the street We've located it a few times out there in the street to see what's going on. Um, but definitely would recommend replacement on this one. Um, I'll type a few notes in the comments as far as spots that are particularly bad. But the line overall has lived its life. Anyways, thanks for watching.